Hey YouTube, USA Second Amendment here with another video for you guys. Um, I figured I'd just do a sort of, uh, maybe a, I don't know what you want to call it, maybe just a knowledge or basic knowledge video. Um, a lot of this information is all the way out, uh, already out there. A lot of you already know this, but uh, I guess this is more so catering to newbies, uh, new people getting into firearms, new shooters, um, or maybe people who have uh, been into firearms. They just, uh, you know, don't really know the terminology and uh, what stuff is, uh, you know, really going on. So anyway, this is just sort of an informational type video, just some basics for you guys. Um, here, let's start up here with the uh, with the uh, rounds themselves. So get you guys close here. So first, starting from my left, this is a 22 long rifle. Then you have a 380. Then you have a 9 millimeter. Now you guys will notice the 380 and the 9 millimeter look a lot alike. It's because the 380, some people call it a short 9 millimeter. Then you have a 45 ACP. Then you have a 556 5 or 223. Then you have a 7.62 by 54R, and then you have a 20 gauge shotgun shell. Now, to recap, 22 long rifle, usually used in like a Ruger 1022, Smith and Wesson MP 1522, um, 22 pistols, a uh, very light round, very, uh, used to be very plentiful, um, very cheap to shoot, very fun to shoot. This is a rim fire. So real quick, give you guys a little background on that rim fire. Or not background, but just description. You see on the back, there's no primer. It's flat, and there's a rim, obviously, right there. And then you compare that to this 380. And you see on the back there, there's clearly a primer. The primer is that round thing in the center of the cartridge. That's what the uh, hammer or the firing pin hits, which makes the explosion and sends the projectile down the barrel. Now, uh, let's see here. Let's take up here for just a second um, to give you guys a little, uh, you know, what's going on or I guess a little different in bullets. OK, so here is a hollow point. Hollow point is just what it sounds like. The point of it is hollow. It's hollowed out. The reason for this is so that when it hits a target, when it hits a human being, it actually mushrooms out, staying in the person instead of something like this, which is called ball ammo or hardball, which is solid. So when this hits a target, it's not going to mushroom out. It's going to go through the target until it meets enough force to slow it down enough to stop. Almost like anything, obviously. Um, so, two different types there. Same caliber. These are both 9mm. Both can be shot out of my Glock 26 9mm. But one is a ball ammo and one is a hollow point. Hollow point is typically for self-defense uh, purposes, self-defense ammunition. Uh, nobody really carries in their defensive gun hardball. Usually they always carry hollow point. Okay, so that's that. I'll set that off to the side. Um, coming back up here, as you can see, like I said, this one is 45 ACP. Now let's take a look at the difference between that and a nine millimeter. Big difference. Huge difference in the size of that projectile. So anyway, there's that. Um, let's see here. Uh, okay, here, let me address the size difference in these real quick. So. This one, like I said, is a 7.62 by 54R Mosin Nagant ammo. For those of you that don't know what a Mosin Nagant is, it is a Russian military surplus rifle. You can usually have them for about 150 bucks on average, a very cheap bolt action rifle. And you see the size of the bullet that thing shoots. The bullet being this part up here. This is the casing, not the bullet. Primer. Okay. 5.56. Or two two three. The most common uh, 
I guess, military round, you could say. Um, this is typically what is shot out of the AR, the AR-15 or the M4 or M16 military type rifles. Now, with that said, give you guys a little comparison here. Do you see the difference in the projectile that's coming out of the barrel? And yet, for some reason, our politicians say this one's evil. This one right here, the little one, that's evil because it comes out of a black rifle and it comes out of a fully automatic 30 round clip magazine in half a second, right? But look at this thing. Perfectly fine. My point is, my point's not that I want them to go after this one. My point is that people talk about stuff that they have no idea what they're talking about. They don't do research. They don't know their topic. They don't um, put in the time to understand what on earth they're talking about. Anyway, just food for thought. Had to put that in there. And here, here's a quick one more comparison before I, before I let you go on that. Again, this is a rifle. This usually is shot out of a handgun, obviously not a rifle, okay? However, outside of that difference, rifle versus handgun, look at the amount of brass that is coming out of the end of that barrel. This one, again, AR-15, ooh, evil, right? This one, 45 ACP, right? That one right there, the big one. Oh, that's okay. Again, their logic doesn't make sense. You know, just saying, you need to educate yourselves. I did a class, I taught a, uh, had a range day class, uh, not really taught, but just a range day for some people that I teach. Uh, and um, we did a range day, just getting them acclimated to handguns, rifles, shotguns. And uh, it was amazing how much, it was amazing how much they didn't know. Um, and it's not their fault. Um, that's the way they were raised. Maybe, um, you know, you never know, but, uh, anyway, so there's that tidbit. Now down here, this is what I asked them too. I pulled this out. Okay. Of my Glock. And I said, what is this? One person said, oh, that's a clip. No, this is not a clip. This is a magazine. A magazine holds bullets, holds rounds, goes into the gun and the gun feeds from a magazine, okay? So the, ma the gun pulls the bullets out of the magazine into the chamber, fires them, okay? So magazine, this here is a magazine for an AR-15, okay? It's a PMAG, a lot of you guys already know what that is. What is this? Oh, that's just some bullets. No, it is bullets, that is a clip, okay? So everybody's like, oh, what's the difference between a magazine and a clip? There you go. A clip, let's see if I can do this one-handed the best I can, guys. Anyway, the idea is a clip connects to your magazine. All the bullets go down into your magazine. It's a faster way of loading your magazine. So the clip, sometimes they're called speed clips. The clip was designed to load magazines. The magazine is designed to go into the gun. So anyway, like I said, a lot of you watching this might already know this information, um, but you know, there's some newbies out there that don't, and I think it's important to educate yourselves um, on the correct terminology and really know what you're talking about when it comes to bullets, when it comes to rounds, magazines, clips, um, when you're talking about, you know, um, oh, this is uh, the most evil round ever invented. Okay, well, if that's evil, what do you call that? I mean, you guys see what I'm talking about, right? Anyway, I'll get off my soapbox there for for now. But, um, ah, come here. Uh, let's see, the shotgun shell. This is a 20 gauge. See a primer on the back. So... 
For those that don't know, shotgun shells, typically, unless they're a slug, they have a lot of little projectiles in them. Uh, the little projectiles could be the size of this 22 bullet, for instance. Maybe not the same shape, but about the same size. Uh, usually it's a bunch of little pellets. That's where it's designated here, seven and a half shot. Uh, a bunch of little pellets that come out of the, uh, of the end. Um, anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope this was informative. I hope, uh, you know, um, if you're new to firearms, I hope that this, uh, sort of educated you a little bit. That was the point of the video to just sort of let you know, magazine, magazine, clip, uh, hollow point versus, um, ball ammunition, different calibers, different rifle calibers, shotguns, just sort of give you a general knowledge of, uh, of what's going on. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll be more than happy to respond to them. Um, once I see them sometimes with YouTube, I don't see comments, um, until literally like two months later. I don't know if it's me or if it's YouTube, but anyway, hope you guys have a good day.